Welcome back everybody. Now, Third World Express, a new musical that draws its inspiration from the epic poem of the same title by Dr. Mungani Wali Sirota, is currently showing at the Mandela Stage, Joburg Theatre, until the 25th of September this year, as part of the theatre's 60th anniversary celebrations. Produced by Shedrick Bugaba, the musical takes the audience on a captivating train ride through song and dance, rediscovering South Africa on the dawn of democracy to the present and beyond. To share more on the musical, we now chat to the producer, Shedrek Bukaba. Dr. Bukaba, very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Good stuff. Great having you this morning. You produced this musical and worked alongside Gregory Makoma. How was it like putting this show together? It's been quite a journey. Uh, uh, what we don't tell people, you know, a production like this has been on for, for me mm -hmm. uh, for about five years. And, uh, you know, you go through various stages. And eventually, uh, about uh, 18 months ago, then that's when I met with Greg. Mm -hmm. to discuss uh, the possibility of him coming on board. Okay. Firstly, as a choreographer, because I had a script at the time. And, right. uh, but eventually, you know, as we worked, and uh, we decided to say, to extend his involvement, okay. and then to ask him to also be involved in the script writing. And that's where we find ourselves uh, at this moment. Yeah. Without giving away too much, how does the musical play out? The musical actually starts around to uh, early 1990s. We, we take a, 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 a look uh, at the transition at the time, you know, the, the, the excitement, the transition into the democracy yes. and, uh, and what the expectations of South Africans were, was at the time. Uh, we were all excited, looking forward to post-apartheid uh, South Africa. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, uh, we, we, we look back and see what we achieved. Mm -hmm. Are we still on the right track in terms of that dream? Or, or not. So I, w I won't give too much, you know, but uh, we, we, the, you have to come and see for yourself. It's actually a very good question, hey? Yeah. It's a, it's a good question. Do you think that that mu mu musical answers that question? We, we pose a few questions. Yes. And then we want the audience to make their own conclusions. But uh, right, we do right. this, uh, uh, this being a musical, there's a lot of uh, choreography, there's a lot of dance, there's a lot of uh, dialogue, acting, and uh, most of the work is, is, is original. The music mm. has never been heard before. And, but also uh, being, uh, being inspired by the poem by, as you mentioned earlier, Wali Sorote, mm -hmm. we, uh, we, we, some of the text come from the poem itself. So the fans of uh, 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 Prof. Sorote oh, right, will actually right. uh, uh, have an idea of where we're right. going with this thing. Right, yes. right. And how much work was put into this project? Uh, quite a lot. I mean, uh, uh, the Joburg Theatre is amongst the best in the world uh, yes. in terms of the facility itself. Mm -hmm. So we use the LED screens. Uh, the technology interacts with what's happening on the screen. Sure. Uh, uh, and, uh, and it's amazing because we didn't use the traditional sets where, you know, you move stuff on and off the stage. We take you to right. the station, for example, in, 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 in New York City, and you'll, f you'll see trains moving on, uh, coming and going, and people getting on and off the train. And but how, though, without stage. moving? Because uh, I've been to Joburg Theatre so many times, yes. you know, the moving of the, you know, the, the apparatus, sets. the set and everything <laughs> else. How does that work? No, 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 uh, technology. With technology, you can do anything these days. Wow. And uh, so, wow. uh, it's, uh, p please do come uh, if you are watching at home. Uh, we, we take you through the, the, you know, we take advantage of whatever the theatre has to offer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Boga, but what sparked the idea to bring the National Philharmonic Orchestra uh, of South Africa to this production? Uh, I've always, uh, my background is in orchestral music. Right. Uh, uh, my, my very first job, I was a professional violinist. And so I worked for many years in that uh, oh, space. Okay. And okay. so, but this time, as one of the musicians was saying that to me uh, recently, that, uh, you know, as a jazz, uh, 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 dominated uh, uh, this production is, 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 is the background is mostly jazz mm. uh, you rarely see uh, jazz musicians being asked to participate as part of, mm. of this thing mm. so mm. the National Philharmonic Orchestra is actually uh, uh, allows us to use uh, orchestral music but also any kind of combination of instruments mm -hmm. so at this point I mean we have Bogani Dyer who many South Africans will know he, he's the music director and he's on the keyboards but we have wind, brass, uh, percussion violin uh, on this so it's a white uh, it's not your traditional orchestral music uh, per se mm -hmm. it allows us to address any kind of genre that will be on display tonight and tomorrow
Okay, okay. Yes. Now tell us about some of the work ch uh, uh, ch uh, chain on uh, adding new arrangements and some of the iconic uh, South African songs, including Huma Sekela's Stimela. Yes. Uh, uh, if you are familiar with uh, Hugh's uh, Stimela, Brad Hugh's Stimela, uh, we take we interpret it dif differently. We have immense talent on stage. So we take a look at that, not only in uh, uh, the song, uh, we have uh, Brajonas, we have uh, mm. other iconic South Africans on stage. We rearrange that, but most of the music is original. And okay. uh, so, 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 so you have to come and, and, and see what we have done with the music itself. The, the tunes are catchy, mm -hmm. and so you'll be humming home, uh, yes. w uh, singing some of them. Yes. Yeah. Why is this worth watching? I mean, what is it um, about it that yes. sets it apart from other productions? Uh, it's, it's, it's a uniquely South African uh, musical. Sure. Uh, you know, uh, so South Africa is, is, we have always punched above our weight mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the arts and culture. I mean, uh, the Lion King itself, the musical, uh, uh, Sarafina, you know, you go back in time. Mm. But this, I think, uh, uh, in a long time, we haven't seen an original uh, 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 musical uh, of the stature. Mm -hmm. And so our, uh, our aim was to try and, 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 and come up with a new production that will travel globally. Mm -hmm. And so I hope uh, after you watch it, uh, you, 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 we make you proud as a South African right. sitting at home right. to say, okay, here we go again. Do share with us uh, the show times. Uh, today, Due to load shedding, oh, uh, we have had to postpone, <laughs> we have had to, to move our time slightly. Uh, okay. we, are, we are supposed to be on stage at 3 o'clock, we will be on stage at 4.30, and then tomorrow we are on stage at 3 o'clock, uh, okay. or both performances at the Joburg Theatre. Okay. Yes. That will have a great chatting to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good stuff. Well, yeah. the Joburg Theatre is currently showing its musical Third World Express, which is produced by Shedrick Bugaba.